Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I want you to come with me and we're going to go do some fun science experiments and learn about shapes and colors and a couple of other fun things. But before we get started I've got a little joke for you. I want you to think real hard, it's going to be a good one. Do you know what's brown and sticky? Hmm, how about a stick? <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go check it out. All right, well here we are in this little picnic area and I've got our first experiment all set up for us. It's called the walking water experiment. Let's look. So here I've got some plastic cups, some food coloring, four different colors. And then I've got some paper, uh, I've got some paper towels that I've already cut into small pieces. And then I've got a couple of bottles of water because we need water to make the trick work. So first, I'm gonna set out our cups. We have four colors, yellow, we have green, we have blue, and last, we have red, my favorite color. Let me go ahead and set these out. Ooh. Good thing I don't already have water in them. There, you wanna count the cups with me real quick? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I am going to fill up the every other cup with water. That means cup number two is going to get some water. That's probably good, maybe a little bit more. Cup number four. Cup number six. And cup number eight. I'm going to have to give cup eight a little bit more water. Sit this down here. I'll go ahead and top them all off a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and add some food coloring. So the first color I'm gonna add is yellow. They call this yellow food coloring. It looks a little bit orange, but I'll let you be the judge. All right. See how that's turning a nice yellow-orange color? Then, I'm going to put green in this one. Whoa, look at that green falling down in there. The next one I'm going to do blue. I'm going to move the red so you can see better. Whoa, food coloring is so fun. It changes the color of all of the water. Then I'm going to put a little bit of red. That's really fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these strips that I already cut out of paper towels and put them into the other cups. And because the color, the water is colored, we're gonna watch it move up the paper towel and into the other cups. So I'm gonna put a, a piece in the yellow and let it run into this empty cup. I'm gonna do that to every cup. Oop, this guy wants to move. Into the green. Now you can already see that water moving along the paper towel into the other cups. We've got a lot of wind today. Whoops.
output. And now we just wait. So you look right here, you can see the yellow water has already walked all the way down that paper towel and it's starting to fill up this empty cup here. The same on this side, the yellow's going down and the green's coming in. And on this one, the green color and the blue color. And on this, the blue color and the red color. The red color is really starting to walk down that paper towel now. Now if you look close right here, you can see that the water is actually keeping coming and it's going to actually fill up this empty cup. It's really fun to watch. The green one's really starting to move too over here. Ooh, if you get a close look on this yellow one, you can really see it filling up right now. See the water's moving around this edge right here? Isn't that fun? The water's walking down that paper towel and going from this cup to this cup. Now that things are really starting to happen, you can see how the water's moving. And eventually what's gonna happen is all of these cups will be at the same level of water. But this, this cup is gonna be a mixture of yellow and green water. This one's gonna be a mixture of blue and green. And this one's gonna be red and blue. It's gonna be a lot of fun when this is done. And I, I know you can see it, but it's just so exciting to watch that water fill up these cups. Because when we started, this cup, this cup, this cup and this cup were all completely empty. Not anymore. I think we ought to let the water keep moving from the full cups into the empty cups along the paper towels. Give it a little bit of time to settle in and see what's going to happen. In the meantime, we could do another fun exercise where we're going to play with some Play-Doh and look at different shapes and colors. While we're waiting on our walking water to finish up, let's go ahead and learn some colors and shapes. I bet you guys already know these colors, but we'll just go over them anyways. Here we have a small container of what color? Blue. <laughs> let's go ahead and get this blue out. Blue's my, one of my favorite colors. I think red is my actual favorite. Boy, it's really in there. Here we have a big ball of blue Play-Doh. Do you guys like Play-Doh? I do. All right. What do you think we ought to do with it? Now that we know that it's blue, what if we made a shape out of it? I'm gonna go ahead and make it real flat like a pancake. Let's see. Smash it out like that. There we go. Now. I wonder, have you guys ever seen a blue star? This shape is a star because it has five points on it. You want to count them real quick? One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's make a blue star. All you do is you put the shape on there and you smash it down real hard. You kind of give it a little wiggle and then you can pull the outside parts away. This is just extra. And then looky there, I've got a blue star. How fun is that? I love stars. If you ever go outside at nighttime, you can look up at the sky and see all kinds of stars. They won't look like this because they're real far away, but they're bright and they twinkle a lot, just like the song says. I'm gonna put this extra back in the uh, blue container. I'm gonna leave the shape right here. What color is this, guys? Yeah, it's green kind of like our green food coloring that we used for the walking water experiment. You want to name some things that are green? Let's see, leaves on a tree, lettuce, limes, limes are green. Um, let's see, what else is green? My favorite, lizards. I love lizards. A lot of lizards are green. Do you hear that sound? You know what that is? That's a wind chime. 
what a wind chime is is just a lot of different pieces of metal that hang and when the wind blows it knocks them into each other where you can hear a nice little tune playing I like that tune how about a green square a square only has four sides one two three four so I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm just gonna take it and smash it down on there look at that all the extra comes right away I'm gonna put the extra back in the container and then look there we've got a green square I like squares there's squares and you see it everyday life lots of boxes that you get uh, items in the mail from are square stamps are square um, let's see what else is square napkins a lot of times are square um, can you guys think of some squares ah, what about a green square that's a little bit tougher I can't think of anything that's actually a green square right now but I'm holding one right here I'm gonna put them right next to my blue star now let's use this color I like this color what is this it's pink it's a really bright pretty pink get this open here all right I'm gonna make a round ball I'm not very good at making a perfect ball but you see it's called a ball because it can roll around this is more like an egg shape but you know what I'm gonna smash it anyways I'm gonna flatten it out see how flat I can get it you know when I think of the color pink I think of hearts looky here I happen to have a heart shape right here so we can use this and smash it and now peel away the extra and I've got myself a pink heart wow that's really cool you know the heart is actually an organ in the human body it makes sure that all of our blood is moving around and keeps us nice and healthy you always want to stay in good shape so that your heart is healthy and it takes care of you just like you take care of it hearts are real important they're also fun because you they show that they're a symbol of love very nice so I'm gonna put this pink heart right here by our blue st uh, star our green square and now our pink heart the next color I'm gonna use is orange I love orange orange is a great color it's also the name of a fruit you know sometimes you eat orange slices and it's a nice healthy snack but it's also a color Ooh, the orange doesn't want to come out for me Wow it really likes its container <laughs> all right I'm gonna take it and smash it up too That looks like an orange pancake <laughs> I'm gonna use this one this is a circle shape a circle is round it has no corners in it it's all round I'm gonna take it and smash it on the play-doh pull away the extra and there we have our orange circle there's a lot of things that are circles in our life the wheels on a car the Sun in the sky um, a beach ball a basketball a tennis ball a baseball every kind of ball is round just like this I really like this orange circle now I'm out of shapes but I still have one color left what could we do let me see here what color is this this is yellow let me pull it out of here now I wonder what else I could do oh look let me lift this up Whoop. what is here I've got this really fun spaghetti tool what you do is you put play-doh down inside of it and then when you smash it through it comes out in a square shape a circle shape a triangle a triangle has three sides and then there's a pentagon that has five sides on it let's see what happens so I'm just gonna take a little bitty piece of play-doh put it down in here make sure it's good and tight in there and then here comes our shapes whoa look at that that was really fun 
I want to make a little bit more. Let's see if I can add some to it. It almost looks like spaghetti that you eat for dinner. But you don't want to eat this. It wouldn't taste very good. Let's see what this piece is. Now, whoops, sorry, it's jumping around on me. I'm going to squeeze it through there. Whoops. It also kind of looks like french fries. All this Play-Doh looking like food is making me hungry. That was really fun. You know, you can take these strings and I don't know how to braid four, but I could take three of them and make them into a nice pretty braid. Braiding is something that takes a little bit of time to learn, but Cowboy Jack is a little bit older. I've had plenty of time to learn. Look at that. It's kind of falling apart because it's not really meant to be braided, but that was really fun. Wow. I hope you enjoyed looking at the Play-Doh and learning these colors and shapes with me. Now, I'm going to put all these up and we'll take a peek back at our walking water experiment. Look at our walking water. Wow. This has changed a lot since we looked at it last. This is really different. So the red and the blue water walking on their paper towels down into the empty cup is making more like a purplish color. And then on this side, we have the blue and the green coming in to make more like a aqua blue greenish color. And then this one, the green and the yellow coming over has made more of like a, hmm, we'll call that slime green. And then the yellow is walking over into its cup over here. I think we're gonna say this experiment is done. I hope you really liked watching the water move from one cup to another. It's a whole lot of fun. It's something that you can easily do at home. Always make sure you have an adult and they understand what you're trying to do because this could get pretty messy with all of the food coloring and dyes. So I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll move on to our next experiment. Well, now that I cleaned up both experiments that we've done so far, learning about the shapes and colors, and doing the walking water, I really worked up quite an appetite. And I love to have a healthy snack. I think Cowboy Jack needs a snack. Let's see what I've got here in my lunchbox. Hmm? I've got some water, it's always important. And I've got a granola bar. Wow. Granola bars are different kinds of grains and oats all mashed together with a binding substance, kind of like honey. They're really crunchy and crispy and really good for you. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's a really crunchy granola bar. Mmm. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full, but I want to tell you how crunchy this is. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. That is a really good granola bar. I really liked that. I'm going to save some for later. I don't want to eat it all right now. I'm going to put it back in my lunch kit. And I'm going to have just a little sip of water. Mm. That is great water. So refreshing. Now, let's move on to our final experiment. This one is called the milk tie-dye. That's right. Have you ever heard of tie-dye, like on shirts sometimes, where there's all kinds of colors going all different ways? We're gonna do that with milk today. It's gonna be really fun. Let me get set up real quick. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, here we are, all set up for our tie-dye milk experiment. I'm gonna go over what we need for the experiment. First, we're gonna need some dish soap. That's a big important part of it. I've got a container full of milk here. I have a glass pie plate. And then I have our food coloring that we used earlier. And also I have some cotton swabs that we use to clean our ears sometimes. But today we're gonna use them for something totally different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, ooh, Cowboy Jack put that lid on pretty tight. I'm gonna pour some milk right into the bottom of the pie pan. 
You don't need a whole lot, just enough to cover the bottom. All right. Close that up and set it aside. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of our cotton swabs. And next, pop that bubble. I am going to add some of our food coloring. First, I'm gonna drop a couple of drops of red. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow. You don't have to only put it in the middle, you can put it out to the sides too. And I'm gonna put some green. Finally, I'm going to put some of the blue. All right, are you guys ready to see the tie dye? What we're going to do is I'm going to take some uh, dish soap and I'm going to put it on the end of these Q-tips. Whoop, I'm dripping it on the bag. But I tell you what, I'm just going to use the bag as my workspace and put soap right on the end of the Q-tip, if you can see it there, our cotton swabs. I'm going to get it on all four sides because I might use them multiple times. All right, you ready? What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this right in the milk, right on the, the food coloring, and the colors are just going to go all over the place. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, look at that. Those colors are really flowing all over. There it goes again. I'm gonna take this and put it right over here so you can see real close. Wow, look at that green moving around. Now I'm gonna put it over in this corner. Whoa, look at that. It's really making those colors move. And I'm gonna stick one right over here. Those colors are really trying to get away from that soap. I've got one more soapy end right here. I'm gonna put it right here. Wow, see how it looks just like tie-dye? This is really fun. That is so neat. I just love this experiment. You can just keep moving the colors all around. It gets a little messy because you're gonna get some food coloring on your hands, but it should just wash off. You can even use the dish soap that you use for the experiment. I think that's about all the milk is going to move around. That was so neat. Take a good look at it. See all these swirling colors. And that's why they call this the milk tie-dye. There's still changes happening in there now. I really like this part here where it looks like little stripes. That is so neat. I really love this, this experiment. It's so fun to watch the colors move and get all kinds of different colors. It looks like the green and blue really took over the color of this milk. I hope you had a great time today. I know I did. These were just a couple of fun experiments and, and activities that you can do at home with the things that you already have at home. But you gotta make sure to ask an adult to help you. You don't wanna do any of this by yourself, especially like the glass pie plate. That could be a big mess. And then you really don't want to spill any of this food coloring or water around. All right, guys, I hope you had a good time today. We did the walking water. We did the Play-Doh and learning the shapes and colors. And then we also did the tie-dye milk, which was really my favorite. That one is so fun. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. I can't stop smiling. 
So if you liked it and had fun, go ahead and subscribe to Cowboy Jack on the YouTube channel. And I hope to see you again real soon. So until next time, yay!